Hello there, how are you? I hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end. Welcome back on my channel. You're listening to Light Channelings once again and I am back with a new reading for all of you. Before starting with today's reading, allow me to express my gratitude for your help, support, love, acceptance and appreciation. May God bless you with abundance in all of its beautiful forms. So first of all, I'd like to present you with a sweet little channeling. This channeling talks about divine timing and the perfect timing of the universe, the timing decided by the universe to grant you with all your wishes, dreams and desires and bless you with the rewards of your hard work and the inner work you've been toiling at. Right now, you may be experiencing a lot of confusion and indecisiveness. It's happening because you cannot see things clearly or things are just not clear for you to see. So don't worry. Allow divine to take control. Be patient and make sure that you have all the facts before you make a final decision about your life or any other area of any other area of your life especially when it comes to relationships marriage or uh, maybe career for some of you okay right now the main message is about divine timing so if you feel like there is something blocking you and you're not getting where you want divine timing is at play so you 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 got to be patient for a while allow things to fall into their place and let the dust settle once you are able to see things clearly then you can make a clear and wise decision about what it is that you want to manifest in your life okay so that was a message worry not as uh, bad energy bad people and negativity is leaving from your life and you're attracting positivity especially if you are working with positive energy, with the energy of your angels, guides and ascended masters. Positive things are manifesting for you. For some of you at a very rapid pace. So pay attention to your thoughts. You will get a good news about something that you've been hoping to get or waiting to get. Don't worry. Yes, it's easier for me to say that don't worry but it's not that easy for you. It's actually easier said than done so still I'm going to say to you that you just be calm that you remain calm and be patient with the process okay so that was the channeling now I'll start with today's reading it's a card reading so as I said, as channeling stated, that there is a lot of confusion. I can I can still see that happening here. There is a possibility that both of you are confused, maybe, about each other and whether you should accept them back. And they may be confused about reaching out to you and giving you some sort of offer. There is this energy of ego pride and arrogance that is literally blocking this connection like anything right now either yours or your counterparts ego has um, brought a lot of bitter energy stagnation or unnecessary conflict in between both of you I feel like it's more so coming from your counterparts end but there is a possibility that you guys are mirroring and somewhere there is ego in you as well where um, this is going to resonate with not many people okay only with few number of people I don't know how many but this is not going to resonate with all of you and by that I'm trying to say that 
I'm seeing the ego is coming from your counterpart not as much as from you but because you guys are twins or soulmates you must understand that you do not attract anything by chance there is always a reason and a cause for that so pay attention to where you are operating out of your ego or are holding on to very tightly but the thing is that your ego is not possibly the reason why this connection is either lost in time got destroyed in the past or is not moving anywhere at present so right now definitely there is separation in between both of you there is no contact no communication nothing and the more you are withdrawing your energies from them the more it's triggering them and instead of taking things maturely they're boosting their own ego pride and arrogance right now it's not like they do not have feelings for you but at the moment their ego is more important than their feelings towards you okay they feel like they won over you by either blocking you or uh, rejecting you withdrawing themselves from you focusing on something or someone else definitely something has happened here where they have purposely done something to get a reaction out of you or trigger you okay and it was nothing but their arrogance their pride and ego nothing more than that they wanted to win over you win an argument or conflict or something like that there is this possibility where other people may have influenced them into acting and behaving this way maybe someone said to them that you better act rationally and logically instead of listening to your own heart because their heart tells them to reach out to you to connect with you to reconnect back with you and mend things in between both of you but because they have this habit of asking for advice maybe from their friends or their friends have this habit of interfering and asking for what's going on in their life and your counterpart doesn't know that at certain point of time they need to keep things to themselves or make boundaries with people they open themselves like a book in front of them so this is something which is causing a lot of conflict and bitter energy in between both of you because there is interference of someone else in the picture this person is filling in your counterparts ears against you by triggering or using their ego which is making them mistreat you hurt you on purpose so that they can feel as if they are winning and putting you in your place this is very bad and toxic energy very very bad and toxic energy right now so there is this possibility that they may have started to look elsewhere for happiness some of them are indulging themselves into work or are giving more energy priority or attention to their career job 
or occupation than they should to you they are doing it on purpose right now okay they are doing it all on purpose there is a possibility that third party has influenced them into acting and behaving this way right now i'm not seeing as much influence coming from family as much as i'm seeing coming from their male friends someone is using their male ego to make your counterpart mistreat you and work against you it could be one of their male friends okay so it's because your counterpart possibly isn't that mature to make their own decisions or they just have a habit of discussing things with other people it's creating a lot of problems and difficulties for this connection right now that is for sure so for a temporary period of time they may have went back in another direction or they may have reconnected back with the third party but there is nothing sexual or illicit going on they are just working on something maybe they have started some sort of business partnership project or venture that they are working on they didn't give that decision a second thought and just went for it outrightly which i feel they are going to regret very very soon because this is temporary it won't work out for them it won't definitely it won't because sooner than later their feelings and emotions that they have for you are going to overpower their ego mind this person is going to return back in your life on their own something is going to happen in their life which is going to destroy their ego and this behavior that this attitude they are showing to you where they are putting up this facade and you know giving you these kind of signals or hints as if they don't even care about you and they do not have anything to do with you soon is going to backfire on them anything they are trying to build with anyone else having this ego and attitude in their mind where they think that they are winning over you and they are putting you in their place and you are going to come running back to them it's not going to happen and i'm telling you do not chase them at all no matter what's happening if they blocked you if they are you know mistreating you ignoring you running away from you whatever it is that they are doing they are doing it out of their arrogance and ego because of their arrogance and ego but still you got to remain in your power and walk away from them please please i'm telling you if you chase you are just going to entertain and enable this behavior which is not going to change easily if you allow it if you entertain it if you chase them they won't change if you let go and walk away they'll forced they'll be forced to change because once your energy leaves their system or their aura nothing is going to work out for them it's like universe is going to give them a little punishment here for mistreating you and i feel like even that project is not going to work out for them they are feeling very happy about it right now but it won't work out they feel as if they've achieved something 
by ignoring you and you know rejecting you and then focusing on something else they feel like they've done a really great job because someone else has validated their decision for them maybe a male friend but they are very confused about it they've done that and the reason they've done that is because they were confused at the first place to begin with all of this it's because they were very very confused about this connection or um, they just were not sure whether they should reach out to you and give you some sort of offer or not because maybe their parents aren't approving of this connection or others were just um, filling in doubts in their mind they went in another direction to seek advice and some suggestions and that person literally told them to think logically and use your mind over your heart and because of that they this person may have said them or told them to do something where you i mean one second let me put it this way to you for you this friend of theirs may have said to them that you shouldn't reach out to her you shouldn't ask for forgiveness and you don't have to apologize if she wants you she's going to come running back to you because where would she go she is a woman or a girl and you are a man something like that this person clearly doesn't know what happened in be- in between both of you or even if this person knows the same toxic masculine ego you know toxic muscula- masculinity where these men want women to chase them no matter how bad they treat their person something like that not something like that it's definitely that energy he made some sort of statement which triggered that toxic masculinity within your counterpart that which they needed to let go that which isn't serving them or this connection it hasn't served anyone any relationship ever but because their friends are not good for them and are toxic in nature but still because they are their friends they hold on to them or you know lean on to them for support there is this energy where maybe your counterpart doesn't realizes just yet that they need to let go of certain people and cut contact with because they are not good for them there is this another pattern a lot of men follow and repeat which is prioritizing friends and their romance over romance this is very very dis- this this is very very dysfunctional where some men have you know made this rule that they are going to always prioritize their friendships and their brothers over their women because they have this thought and belief in their mind that women destroy friendships and relationships that women are usually jealous of men's bond with their friends something like that again it's not something like that it's definitely that energy which has caused all of this 
but don't worry about it i'm just trying to explain why it all happened to you what is happening right now in your situation because sooner or later this person is going to come running back in your life their ego won't overpower their love and emotions they have for you soon the old memories and the moments you two have spent and shared together are going to haunt them like anything they won't be able to stop themselves from thinking about you they are going to feel very very nostalgic and they're going to come running back the universe is going to destroy all of this mess this attitude of theirs this behavior of theirs where they are rejecting you constantly for something or someone else this breakup or this break in between both of you won't survive much longer they are going to move towards you but first you should move away from them completely detach take it seriously don't take it lightly this behavior is not something to be taken lightly okay if you entertain them if you enable this behavior they're going to continue to mistreat you and abuse you emotionally mentally and psychologically which is very very bad very bad so pay attention to what i'm saying and let them go walk away from them if they want to stay in their ego pride and arrogance let them be let them do whatever they want if they want to reconnect back with someone from their past maybe an ex let them do it do not react not on social media not in person pay attention to what it is that you want to do in your own life and move forward with your own plans let them go for good they are going to come running back okay you are exactly where you are meant to be and supposed to be at that at this point of time and all is going according to the divine plan this is all part of the divine plan for you so don't worry what it whatever it is that you want you will get it and things are soon going to start moving in your desired direction not theirs they'll realize their mistake and they'll make that decision to move towards you instead of listening to other people they'll be forced to do so they'll be forced to do so they'll be dragged out of those situations they're going to get a hit on their head metaphorically and symbolically speaking okay not literally but something is definitely drastically going to happen in their life which is going to change this whole scene scenario or circumstance which has turned out to be more toxic than anyone could assume or imagine right now okay the moment you are going to withdraw your energies and let go of them would be the same exact moment which is going to fill them with fear of losing you for life and that's when they are going to start move to work that's when they are going to start making changes and taking steps to move towards you they won't be able to handle that anxiety or depression or nervousness or anguish of losing you to someone else and they understand that they have pushed you over the edge to make that choice or decision and i feel like some of you are going to do that where you are going to shut the door for this connection once and for all and you're going to move on with someone else someone better someone who is going to treat you right with respect dignity recognition and respect yes i already said respect but i just said it twice to confirm it you get my point they won't be able, they won't be able to handle that anxiety or fear they won't be able to so don't worry once you detach let go move on and walk walk away could be the moment for them to feel that shake up in their life and that's when either they'll realize their mistake or might start to experience and face their bad karma for mistreating you 
and regret for losing you for the rest of their life. For some of you, that's going to be temporary. For others, that would be the end of this connection and you will move in different direction. Okay? I'm saying that because it's a general collective reading and definitely everything depends on with the individual's personal choices and decisions, whatever they choose to do in their life. Okay? But for majority of you, I feel like this person is going to return back in your life and both of you are going to get married with each other because it is destined and written. This person is going to fight for you, not against you, once they come back as a changed person like you want and after the return, things won't be like they were in the past. There will be mutual love, respect, recognition and just as much priority you gave to them, they'll reciprocate all of that. Okay? There is a possibility of someone causing drama or conflict when this happens in the future for both of you. This could be their mother, sister, ex or someone else. Maybe a hater of yours possibly who doesn't want to see you happy. But still, this person won't get away with it and nobody is even going to pay any attention to her. You may find this out that someone was gossiping about you or lying on your name, was trying to defame you or cause drama. but. It's because of jealousy and envy, nothing more than that. If that's not the case, if this is something where someone is going to come up to put an obstacle on your path, that won't stop this marriage or union from happening. For others, I feel like you may decide to get married with someone else, you may find out that they are doing their own thing and they are least bothered about your well-being or your emotions. So maybe in that case or in that situation, you are going to choose a soulmate over them and you are going to get married. But I feel like in both the situations, someone is going to cause drama for you. A woman possibly but doesn't have to be it can be a man or a male but that won't stop you from receiving your happiness and the bundle of joy okay for others if this connection is written in your destiny destiny is going to plays game with you and uh, you'll get justice. It has been a really long and painful cycle that you were going through from a very long period of time, definitely where you have experienced nothing but heartache, heartbreaks, betrayal negativity, injustices, abuse, drama, conflict, unnecessary drama and conflict and attacks coming from other people. I feel like it was some sort of karma that you had to clear. These were karmic entanglements which you had to clear away. But if that's not the case, there is this possibility that someone did something on you and that's why uh, you had to go through all of this. But more so on a general level this was a karmic cycle that you ha that you had to go through or a karmic connection possibly or these people who did you wrong were karmics for you and this is soon going to end for you because the wheel is about to turn in your favor yes things are moving very very slow right now and you are not able to see 
positive outcomes right on the horizon for you but soon it will all change i'm seeing number 33 right now so be patient yes there is a lot of confusion right now and you do not know where you need to head towards or which direction should you choose you will figure that out sooner than later okay just don't allow your fear to take control of you i feel like right now possibly you are fearing that there is no possibility for this connection to work out and you better should leave and more than that i feel like you are feeling as if you failed or uh, you didn't succeed even though you had put in so much of efforts time energy and everything but still you got hurt betrayed backstabbed and rejected so there is this energy of little remorse regret sadness and feel where uh, you are feeling like a wounded warrior right now and you want to protect yourself from any more hurt damage or anything like that that's why you are keeping your heart under a shell or you know keeping it locked right now because you do not want to get hurt any more i feel like that's your energy and maybe your counterpart's energy is they're also somewhere feeling and experiencing same kind of emotions or they are maybe in the same sort of energy where they feel like they've messed up everything and they are such a coward or uh, they didn't even care to treat you right instead they kept on hurting you and filling your life with unnecessary drama conflict burdens and what not so somewhere they are also feeling like they are a failure and they are not worthy of anyone or anything in their life they are also keeping themselves guarded and protected but i'm not seeing that energy coming from them i feel like they are just they are not sure whether they should reach out to you or not because they don't know how you're going to treat them or either you're going to accept them back or not because you are doing your own thing and they feel like you are least bothered now about them and maybe you won't accept them back so it's all about time if you can give it time and space and see how it work works out for you all together justice is going to get served in your favor in the favor of the righteous one so what do you know if this person returns back it's going to be your choice whether you wish to accept them back or not and if you want to settle down with someone else i feel like that's also going to happen for some of you if this is the connection god has written in your destiny then somehow destiny is going to play out for you and things are just going to work out for you okay so i feel like this person is going to return with an offer with a stable with a stable and solid offer but then again it, it's going to be your choice it's dependent upon you and what it is that you are going to do with it okay so that's all for now i'll be back again till that time please take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye